everyone, this is your instructor Joy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your nice questions, comments, booking lessons with me, and sending donations. I really appreciate that. So this will be an answer to a subscriber. This balance is uh, working on vibrato, but having trouble bending fingers. Um, and then ask, what if if the fingers are too stiff and can't bend the fingertips to the vibrato? Remember, in order to do vibrate, vibra we have to, um, so basically whatever vibrato you use, is a finger vibrato, wrist vibrato, or arm vibrato, basically the finger, the last joint gets flattened, and then the finger gets unrolled, and that's how we do vibrato, like that, remember? So this part of the finger joint plays a crucial role. It's very, very important. So, um, so we have to make sure this part can be bent, and flattened yeah either by finger movement or wrist or arm whichever works this part has to be more flexible so now let's say there are many different kind of condition everybody has different uh, shape of hands length strength weaknesses and sometimes certain conditions so see if you can curve your fingertip just normally then uh, you should be able to do that. <laughs> it might be hard to do this simple movement to do on the violin. I understand that. If that's the case, then I just ask you to simply just curve your fingertips, see how it feels, and see if you can simulate that one. So first curve it and just straighten like that, and then see if you can simulate that one, yeah? But let's say uh, you happen to have arthritis or certain condition, the finger does not allow to just bend at all because that happens too. And that gets a little complicated if that's the case. Then you might have to find an alternative way of vibrating, um, which is, may not be the most ideal, but um, you might have to experiment different things. So let's understand how vibrato sounds so that if you have such condition that uh, for for, uh, for reason you cannot bend your finger then um, so vibrato this is a note that vibrato gets a little below the, the intonation the pitch gets a little below and a little higher like this so basically the, when we vibrate the note gets slightly this is a that's a note slightly get lower Again. right so ideally if you can practice that one by allowing your last finger joint um, to to start um, bent and then be flattened by moving your arm that would be the ideal in my opinion but let's say if you have a, a clinical condition and then you can't do that then you can maybe simulate that one let's say if you have a straight finger just by sliding slightly, just keeping your, since you can't bend that one, just sliding fingertip, you're creating the wave, the oscillation of vibrato like others. Then if you can practice that one, like that. Um, again, this is not ideal, that's just an alternative way of doing it and that this is just one of many possibilities that um, you yourself have to try out, see whatever uh, it works the best and then see if you can simulate the sound of vibrato which the pitch goes slightly low and high, yeah? But before you go to the alternative way, I really, really, really highly encourage you to try to um, uh, train your finger to, to be a little more flexible, if that's possible. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again. Please remember to subscribe and share my videos. Bye-bye.